Hi guys, in the following tutorial I'm going to show you how to export your content from Squarespace and then import it into your new WordPress installation. So exporting content is quite simple. So we currently have a, a site here set up in Squarespace and this is with our sister company Squaremuse. And to move that you're going to want to log into the dashboard. So log in as you normally do. And once you're logged in, then you will want to go to advanced, so website in advanced. And in here, there's the import and export option. You'll want to hit export. And then you'll be shown with the WordPress option. So you can only export one blog page uh, whenever you're doing an export from Squarespace. So choose the one that has uh, the largest part or all of your blog posts in there. Simply hit the export button and then just wait for this to run. Once it's ran, uh, you will then have the option to download the XML file for WordPress. So you can see that we have now uh, completed the export. Now it's just a matter of clicking download. That will give you the download link and that will be a .xml file and you can see it's labeled Squarespace uh, WordPress XML. So I'm just going to pull up that file. So you can see we have this download here, uh, Squarespace WordPress export. Now all you'll want to do is go back to your WordPress installation that we previously had. And you'll want to go to Tools and then Import. And in here then you will want to add the WordPress installer. So just click Install Now. And as soon as that's installed, then you can press Run Importer. If this has already been installed, uh, you can also go to uh, Tools uh, Import again and then choose that option. Now it's just a matter of choosing the file. Again, you can drag and drop that in uh, here or select the file and then simply hit Upload File and Import. Then you'll just want to make sure you select the admin for uh, any of the posts, etc. on the site and then click Download and Import the file attachments. Then just hit Submit. We do recommend uh, uploading images again uh, whenever you're making a transition from Squarespace solely because images that have been uploaded previously into Squarespace tend not to be optimized for the site. Uh, this is one of the main reasons a lot of people make a transition to uh, Squarespace or from Squarespace to WordPress um, solely because they would like to have a better SEO presence and more flexibility for the site. So check out our tutorial on how to um, export images for the web correctly, how to label those for SEO. Um, it'll really make a big difference to your site in the longer term, uh, whilst it may be a bit more of a pain now. I'm still going to show you how to import uh, the media from your blog posts and pages for now. Um, but as I mentioned, it's probably going to be more beneficial that you take some time, organize a folder with uh, your new site and the images for that, and then you can start importing those images. I'll just give you a quick uh, look at how I've done this for our flow theme site. So we have a folder, uh, flow theme site, and you can see I've created each of the pages, and inside those pages I've added any text, images, etc. for the site. So I would recommend doing that for your own site. It really makes uh, creating the site much, much simpler. And again, you could do that for your slideshows and your galleries, etc. Uh, so whenever you go to come creating all the pages and all the items for your site, it's going to be a really nice, quick process. Now, we will want to import the images. Um, they will not be imported yet. Right now, if I was to go to a blog post, uh, you will see the images are still linked and showing to uh, Squarespace. And that's fine. They, they will currently work and it will look you know, good for now. But if we were to inspect this page, you can see that they are linked to Squarespace. Uh, we don't really want that. Uh, we want to have some uh, correct uh, image files. And we want those imported into the site. So to do that, we're just going to go to Plugins and we're going to Add New. So again, you can just click Plugins or Plugins Add New. Then you'll want to hit Upload Plugin. Um, or you can search for the plugin. So if you're uploading the plugin, you'll want to download that from the WordPress Plugins directory and search for Import External Images uh, by Martin Thornley. Uh, otherwise, you can search for it here. And I believe, it, for me, it's on the second page. It may be on the first page for yourself, just depending on the search results. So let's import the, uh, or install this plugin and then activate it. And activate. 
And then we're just going to have a quick check and see if we can find some images to import. Now, once it's activated, we'll go to Media and Import Images. And again, this searches all of the site and finds what posts, etc., have images that are, are uh, pointing externally to Squarespace. And in this case, we have the one post with some images. So you can go ahead and import uh, the images now. And that will slowly import all those images for you. Again, you can, once that's done and you've ran that several times until all the posts are in, you should uh, go and check your uh, blog posts and just make sure that uh, all the images are, have been imported correctly. Uh, and then in the text view, you'll just want to make sure that those images, so anything with an image tag has got the correct image source. So as you can see, these have all been imported nicely. And again, I recommend just having a quick check through the, through the site just to make sure that um, all of those images are imported. This will also be the same for your pages. You'll want to go through your pages. As you can see here, uh, the images are not uh, shown here. And this is most likely because the URLs um, are not showing uh, a format that can be imported. As I mentioned, this, this is one of the downfalls of making the transition from Squarespace is that it's more difficult to import the images again. Thankfully for your pages, um, it's not such a big deal because most of you will only have one or two images and you'll just re-upload those again. They'll be optimized and labeled correctly. Whereas you can see the current images from Squarespace do not have any SEO value at all and they are labeled quite horribly. So in this case, I would suggest going through the pages and up re-uploading images, but you won't do this at this moment in time. You'll want to do that whenever you start to actually build the page.